Durga Agrawal was born in Lakanpur, India, a very small town in the central part of the country. The population of this town was uh, probably 650 people uh, back in 1960s. Uh, there was uh, no electricity there, no water supply, no high school, uh, no railroad. It was a kind of remote place. Agrawal grew up with a large family with seven siblings, three brothers and three sisters. His parents were very influential in his development, both in terms of his values and the business skills that helped him become successful in life. They had a, uh, set up a nice uh, successful business in Lakhanpur and uh, they taught us a lot of things, uh, having patience, uh, compassion, and I learned from my uh, parents, uh, my father in particular, uh, teamwork, uh, value for other people's opinion, and uh, respect for education. Access to education for Agrawal would test him as well. The closest high school from his home was more than 13 miles away. There were six or seven rivers uh, between my village and the place where uh, high school was. And in we'll, some places we'll have to uh, cross the river on boat in rainy season. So yeah, it was a unique experience. Agrawal did well in school and excelled in the sciences, chemistry, physics, and math. With these strengths, he decided to enroll in the best engineering school in India for a degree in mechanical engineering. He would be awarded the National Scholarship by the Government of India for his outstanding college performance. Upon graduation, he looked to the United States for a master's degree in industrial engineering and was accepted by the University of Houston. For a young man from Lakhanpur, this was a big step. I really did not know much about America. In those days, internet did not exist, Google did not exist, so I knew very little. Because of my uh, medium of uh, education in India was English, I could uh, speak good English, but uh, of course I had uh, accent. Uh, professors were really wonderful here. They were very friendly, very courteous, and uh, uh, they had a lot of respect for uh, foreign students in spite of uh, their color, their accent, the way they spoke, and uh, professors were just wonderful. Agrawal had planned to take his degree in talents, which eventually included a PhD, back to India after graduation. He envisioned setting up his own business or expanding the family business, but a new path presented itself. I was always intrigued uh, by the things that I design on a piece of paper and uh, if I can make, uh, make those items uh, that I design. So that's how I got into manufacturing business. And uh, the timing was right, economy was good, petrochemical business was booming at that time. Agrawal's company, Piping Technology and Products Incorporated, grew rapidly. It manufactured all kinds of piping products, like supports for vibration and thermal control for the oil industry, nuclear industry, and LNG pipelines. He then added expansion joints for pumps, turbines, and compressors, as well as various types of ductwork for mechanical equipment. Agrawal and his company also benefited from good advice from family members, like his wife, Sushila. When I went full time into my own business, many times uh, I'll be in the house uh, and uh, I won't go and call on customers. And she said that, look, if you don't get out and make some sales call and go out, uh, then there is not going to be any business coming. So she encouraged me a whole lot, whole lot and she has been encouragement throughout my life. And uh, she also comes from business background and. Uh, and she complimented really well all along. Despite a strong start for the company, working in the energy sector can often be susceptible to booms and busts. During the economic downturn in the 80s, Agrawal had to scramble to stay afloat, diversifying by completing several major acquisitions and keeping a steady hand on the rudder. When there was the economic downturn, I did not lay off anybody because of di diversification. We kept uh, most of the employees working here. 
and uh, even uh, recently when there was a downturn uh, we didn't let uh, many people go because of uh, other products that we can make i've got so much from so many people uh, my family members my siblings my wife my children my teachers it's good to give back to the community it feels good you know it's uh, you learn a whole lot too when you are doing things so it's a uh, uh, good feeling to give back also it's fun agrowall's charitable efforts are numerous and include leading a delegation from MD Anderson Cancer Center to visit Mumbai and Delhi, India to explore possible joint ventures in medicine and teaching. He was the founding member and president for four years of India House, a Houston community center that promotes Indian culture and values. In education, he has worked on the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board closing the gap program and contributed to both Rice and the University of Houston where while on the UH engineering leadership board he has given scholarships to needy students his success in business and his accomplishments in charity have not gone unnoticed after receiving the SBA award for the small business person of Texas in 2001 he was invited to several white house events including the state dinner president george bush hosted for the prime minister of india agrawal's generosity however should be no surprise he was only following a long family tradition yes sir, my father was a very kind person and he was a very helpful to the people i learned a value of giving and a thought of giving and feeling good about giving from his nature Agrawal continues to grow and diversify his company and stays deeply involved in the community and his success has stayed rooted in the beliefs he first brought from Lakhanpur to America. Hard work uh, is what uh, pays off. You have to be honest, hard working person and you can achieve anything you want to with the de determination and hard work you can achieve anything that you want. To.